a lot of gathering in the cheeks and uh, the cheekbones are still far set back as you can see and uh, the brow pretty much is going to stay the way it is in, in terms of what's going on between the eyes. The eyes are going to move up a little bit just in terms of the lower lid and we're going to get some gathering on that too. And here I am just working on the actual lip itself because you want to maintain something there because what happens is the lips get stretched out but they don't necessarily disappear unless you've got this big goofy grin that's going from ear to ear and eventually you know if you could stretch your skin that far the lips would obviously disappear but you, you want to maintain some sort of um, indication that the, you know the lips haven't just disappeared there and around the corners of the mouth here I'm just adding a little bit of clay to um, act as a sort of like as a mechanism for stretching that smile out because it's those muscles at the corner of your mouth that literally pull your lips uh, to the sides to create the smile. And what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of looking at what's going on. I'm blocking the lower section because it can be a little deceiving to look at it without having that bottom lip there. And when I model this in here, just remember the upper lip and the upper uh, and the upper teeth are always going to sit on top of the lower lip and the lower teeth, like we learned in Volume 1. Again, fundamentals and rudiments. And things don't shift. Not unless, of course, you stick your bottom jaw and do that, but it's not the way we smile. So you want to you kind of keep it real here. So it's important that we bring this stuff over with us to uh, an application such as sculpting a smile. Uh, the fundamentals, that is. Just like I'm doing here with this classic uh, W shape that sort of outlines the, the bottom lip or supports the bottom lip, which is the very uh, necessary anatomy that you have to have in there. Um, just keep it real simple, folks. Just because the mouth is opening up, it shouldn't really change too much in terms of the orientation and the relationships that the forms are having with each other. So it, it, it appears that you know the majority of this smile, obviously, you know the eyes and, and the cheeks are gathering, uh, much like in most uh, expressions that the face can carry out. But a lot of the movement here seems to be in the chin. Here we are looking, I'm just putting this up here so we can get a look at it, uh, one side and one side only, to get better perspective in terms of what we're seeing, because sometimes if the left side of the face is not um, caught up with the right side, it can create a bit of a, an illusion that something isn't working, but that's why I just like to look at it as, uh, as its own entity.